So, <clears throat> just gonna turn the other light on here. I have come close the door so we don't hear all the action from downstairs. I have a great idea for nail art for today. Don't know what's gonna work. First, I'm going to take some of this black. I want it to be a gel polish because I want this nail keeps popping off its little thing and I'm not sure why, so just let me try to fix that. Um, I want to kind of almost make like a stone effect. Now, I do not want to paint this whole nail black at this point. I do want it black, but I want a sticky layer and I want it to be kind of almost like a rocky kind of effect because I want to put some powder down. So maybe something like that. See, I haven't done the whole nail. I really want to have powder down though because I want a really nice shiny layer. Um, hmm. Here, I'll do a different effect on this one. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. So I just put a little on that side. Use your imagination. I need more liquid gold, which is my black. Maybe like this effect across. Okay. One more here. Hmm. Let's do a big circle type. Maybe up like this there. Make sure I got enough because I need a good enough sticky layer to get that powder on there. Okay, so like something like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and cure those. They're going to have a nice sticky layer on top. And I'm going to do the rest with these and I will be right back. Okay, so now I've done that portion. Now it's time for us to get our little stick. Now, a lot of times this works better just with your finger. I have this. It's number one. <laughs> That's all it shows on there is number one. Ooh, but it's almost like a chrome. So I'm going to wipe that on. <sighs> Look at that. Pretty. And I'm going to do that for all those areas. Oh, so pretty. Oh my. But it's like a really nice goldy type chrome. Almost bronze. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Woohoo. That's going to make a good effect. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to finish those all off. So pretty. I just received this one in the mail. I know I had... Um, 
ordered a couple of these online, but I got them just for this type of effect, so I'm hoping that it turns out the way I want it to. Um, you do not get a lot in this little thing. Like, literally, this is all I got. But honestly, it's got really good coverage, so you don't need a lot. In this case, a little goes a long way. But that's why I buy a lot of this stuff on Wish, because it's cheaper. It might take a while to get it, but sometimes when you buy a lot of the snail stuff, sometimes you're willing to wait just because it's so much. It just depends on how long you got to wait where it's coming from. Ooh, pretty. Now the reason I wanted to put this on before I put any other color on is for the simple fact that as soon as I put that sticky layer on, it's going to spread everywhere. So as soon as I go to put my next color down, I'm going to have a sticky layer, right? And now if I would have tried to have done this, it would have went everywhere all over the nail. So basically, what I'm going to do now, it's going to sound funny, but I'm going to brush these off, get any remaining powder off, lightly brush them. Now I'm going to top coat with a non-sticky top coat. And then I can go through and put my color on around. I'll just put it on around this because I also want to put another powder on that one. Now I have this really nice pinky and I also got this one. It's called, uh, it's like just like a pearl powder. I don't know, but I really like this one. This one goes to like this, like a pinky. So I was thinking about adding that before we add any of our other things, but we'll see, because it's similar to this, this graffiti top coat color. So I might even be able to use that instead of having to put another powder, but we'll see how things turn out. First, I want to get a non-sticky top coat with no sticky layer and I'm gonna put that on to protect that layer so we don't lose it and then I'll be right back and we will move on okay now we're moving on to our next part so what we're doing is I'm gonna take some of this it's very close going to avoid that area with the stuff we've already put down with the powder. This is Double Trouble Shimmer from the Urban Graffiti Collection and it's got a very very light shimmer to it but it does have like a purpley type shimmer and I'm going to go ahead and put that on and just in those spots that we did not put where we did not put um, our powder okay so I'm just going right around you don't want to hit those spots because we are going to put a powder on this so I'm going to go ahead and put that on around it all and then I'll be right back Okay, so we've added two coats of this uh, Double Trouble. And now I'm going to go and lightly put just a little bit more color down. You won't see a lot of it, but I'm just putting the powder on to make it just a little bit more pink. Don't see it a lot. Just adds a little bit more oomph to it. So I'm adding that in. And I'm going to go through and add that in. Then at that point, I think we should top coat. 
before we go on, um, actually, no, I don't want to top coat yet, I don't think, oh, well, let me think about it for a sec here, I might want to, because I want to put down some sparkle, but I also want to cover that sparkle with top coat, so that means I'd need another layer of top coat, that would be three layers, might be a little bit too thick. Possibly not. Yeah, I think maybe. I think maybe we should put down our spark before we put down another layer of top coat. And then um, we can do any painting or anything we want. So I think before we do that. We should put down our sparkle. I just want to make sure I got my powder color on here. And again, we want to brush it off before we do anything else. Okay. <clears throat> so there's that portion. And this chrome powder I'm using is called Amethyst Chrome Pigment. This is from Neo Nails. It's really beautiful. Ooh. I'm gonna brush off any extra powder. Okay. So now I want a long ass brush and probably a clear top coat, or I could do it this way. Hmm. You know what? I think I want to do it the other way because I want to be more precise about where it goes. So, I'm going to take a little bit of just normal clear coat, my sash feet, and I'm going to put some top coat down. Now, this stuff dries very fast, so you don't want to use a lot at a time. I want to put a little bit of sparkle onto that, and I'm going to mix it really quick. Basically, I'm just making it so I can pick it up and lay it down. Oh, this might be a little bit too thick yet. Hold on. Might need a little bit more. Oh, that's a little better. <coughs> Jeez, excuse me. I don't know. My throat. I'm constantly coughing lately. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my liner brush, see if this will work, oh yeah, I think. And I just want to bring it up, you know what, I don't think it's giving me the result I want. I think I want it thicker. Hmm. Mm, well, no. It works. I think it's just a matter of... So that's kind of what I've done there is I've added some sparkle along like that. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do it to each one in varying places. Probably around my chrome pigment is where I want it the most. And I will be back and show you how we are. Okay, now we've come to this part. I gotta try to clean off this poor brush because it is mad at me at the moment. Whew. That was a nasty. Whoo okay, better. Alright, I put some black paint on here with a little bit of water and my lining brush. I have all my sparkle on there. I'm gonna go through and add a little bit of black to make it kind of look like a rocky. Like a little bit of like rocky sensation. I don't know if you can see that here. Oh, 
I want it to kind of look like some type of rock or just interesting, you know what I mean? And of course I'm doing all this off camera so you can't see. I'm trying to make you guess. Something like that. I don't know if you can see that. Boy, the lighting really sucks up here lately. Let's see if I can get it so you can see it there a little. Lighting really sucks lately. So basically, I'm just following my sparkle line around with the black to give it a little bit of almost like a rocky type shading. Let's see if we can see that one. See, like that. So I'm going to do that on all of them. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect either because rocks would not be perfect, would they? Oh, so pretty. And of course, after this, I don't think I would do much more after this. It's got a lot going on. We've done quite a bit you want. want it to be like what we want it to be so I think I'll leave it as is and what I'd also do is put a top coat on just to protect any of the paint that I've just laid down that is so pretty wow looks so nice And then when I go to put them on again, of course, I would buff them slightly, very, very, very slightly with a buffer, not with a file, with a buffer. Use my bonder. And then I'd put any acrylic or whatever I wanted on top of it. I think that one would look pretty nice because little indents of... of this uh, really shiny underneath so yeah this one turned out pretty cool I like this I like stuff like that really really neat and so of course um, I'm just doing the last one here then I'm going to let it dry really well because it is black paint that I'm using this is why I love to use black paint because paint flows so well and you get such great um, coverage and stuff with it so acrylic paint really works well so okay gonna let it dry really well top coat it and I will give you a couple of pictures so I will see you you yes you next time bye okay and here are our nails so pretty very very nice here I'll try to get some light for you so you can see how pretty these turned out oh look at that oh shiny sparkly very rock like kind of a nice idea I think once you put some acrylic on that oh it's gonna be really pretty okay oops so I will see you next time.